Okay, now let us look at these questions. Okay? Good. A particle undergoes simple harmonic motion along straight line, completing 20 cycles in 2 seconds. The amplitude of the motion is 3 cm. At time equal to 0 second, the particle is at equilibrium position O. Okay? Uh, this displacement to the right of O is considered to be positive. Write down the expression representing the displacement of the particle. Okay, good. So, what is given here? Uh, what is given... Okay, first of all, let's, uh, let us look at the first question A. A asks us to write down an expression. Uh, expression means you need to write an equation. Uh, you need to give an equation. Equation of what? Okay, equation of displacement. Uh, yeah, displacement. So, uh, this one should be displacement versus time equation. We need to write the displacement versus time equation. Okay, so what is given in the statement? He say completing 20 cycles in uh, this part. Yeah, completing 20 cycles in uh, 2 seconds. This one can help us to find period or frequency and omega. Uh, so, okay, let us write it down. Yeah, let us write it down. This one can help us to find. Uh, the frequency, the period, the omega. Okay. Uh, so let us find out the all these three. Okay. First of all, uh, frequency we can write as um, number of cycles. Frequency is what is frequency again? Uh, frequency is uh, okay. Frequency is number of cycles completed in one second, or we can say number of revolutions. Uh, made in one second, okay. Number of rotation uh, or number of uh, oscillation, number of oscillation completed in one second, okay. So how to find this? Uh, we can use the twenty cycles divided by two second. Uh, twenty we can use the twenty cycles divided by uh, two seconds. So we will have uh, ten. Uh, cycles completed in one second, isn't it? Ah, so just divide, I get 10, isn't it? Uh, so we have 10 cycles, it makes 10 cycles in one second. Uh, in short, after divide, this one means uh, 10 per second, uh, 10 cycles per second, or we can say it as uh, 10 hertz. Uh, same, yeah, and hertz. So from here we can get omega. Uh, this one we can get omega. Uh, if you want to find period, also can, yeah. Period just uh, take uh, one over frequency, yeah. Uh, period is time taken to complete one cycles, okay. Uh, so period is uh, one over ten, uh, or uh, zero point one, okay. Uh, zero point one second. We got the period also, isn't it? Uh, so, um, omega will be 2 pi f, uh, 2 pi f. So, it's 2 pi times 10 hertz, uh, which is 20 pi, uh, okay, radian per second. Or you can actually just write as 20 pi per second. Because why, why we ignore the radian? Uh, why we ignore the radian? Because uh, this one, the radian is uh, this radian is not SI unit, so can be ignored. Uh, yeah, because this one radian is non SI unit, so it can be ignored. So we, sometimes we just write omega is twenty pi per second. Okay, so we already have the omega. Okay, we have the omega. So this one will we will use this omega in the expression later on, okay? And then here it gives us the amplitude. Ah, tell us the amplitude. Amplitude. Ah, be careful. This one is in centimeter. Centimeter. So later on the displacement also in centimeter. Okay. 
or this amplitude is also the uh, maximum displacement uh, because we know maximum displacement is amplitude another thing he say uh, x0 second uh, this is the starting the initial uh, the starting the starting point or the initial initial point yeah the starting point or initial point zero second it start from equilibrium position uh, so the the initial position is equilibrium uh, x equal to zero so this means what this means uh, when uh, this means um, this means that when z at zero second the displacement is zero zero centimeter uh, which means that it means that it starts from equilibrium means that the phi is zero uh, the initial phase angle the initial phase angle or phase constant is zero uh, when time zero x zero uh, means the phi is zero also okay so no phi and then displacement to the right of uh, o is considered uh, the right of equilibrium position is considered to be positive uh, that means uh, if the object uh, this if this is the object um, uh, at the equilibrium uh, this is the equilibrium x equal to zero we can he say to the right of o okay uh, this is the o position you can say this is the this is the o position uh, so uh, to the right of it to the right of it x is a positive value that means to the left of it is to the left of the equilibrium it is x is negative understand uh, if to the right is to the right is positive then to the to the left of the equilibrium position is negative okay let me drag it a little bit ah this is the this is what we call the uh, this this part is the equilibrium equilibrium um, position uh, x equal to zero or o is the equilibrium position to the right of the equilibrium position if the object is at the right hand side if object is at the right hand side uh, then it has a positive displacement yeah if the if the object is at the right hand side of the equilibrium it is a positive displacement if the object is at the left hand side uh, object is at the left hand side of the equilibrium position then it has a negative displacement uh, this is what it means by the last statement okay so now uh, let us uh, write down these equations for displacement so what is the general formula remember what's the general formula for displacement ah since the phi is equal to zero phi equal to zero so our equation don't have any phi it's just a sine omega t okay x equal to a sine omega t uh, that's the general equation okay let us write it down yeah so for question a so for question a x is equal uh, yeah, our uh, x equal to um, x versus t equation is x equal to uh, a sine omega t uh, yeah because our phi is zero uh, because actually here here got another plus phi uh, here got another plus phi plus phi but because uh, it start from equilibrium, equilibrium position uh, phi equal to zero so uh, we no need to consider the plus phi anymore uh, no need to consider plus phi anymore so just the a sine omega t okay so we also already have um, uh, the amplitude which is three centimeter uh, so can write it down yeah can write it down the amplitude is three centimeter remember this is centimeter x equal to three sine what's our omega our omega is 20 pi 20 pi so write it down 20 pi e ah okay so you don't just write the equation you must also mention the unit yeah uh, you just, just give the equation not enough you must write the unit okay you must write what what you must write uh this one ah uh, okay i write it down for you uh, so you must write this also huh? this uh, unit uh, is a must okay it's a must 
Ah, okay. So be careful. It is in centimeter. Huh? The the x is in centimeter. Uh, remember because it give you the amplitude. Huh? It give you the amplitude is in centimeter. So the displacement x also will be in centimeter uh, because uh, when amplitude is in centimeter, okay. So the displacement also in centimeter. Uh, okay, centimeter. So so that's why x must be in centimeter. Huh? And you must also write the time in second. He did, he did say uh, the unit uh, complete in 20 cycles in 2 seconds. Uh, this is second, not millisecond or what other time. Uh, it is second. Okay? Second. That's why our time is in second. Remember that. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Unit is a mass. Huh? When you're writing the equation, you must write the unit also. Not just write the equation. Not enough. Yeah? This one three centimeter, so displacement also centimeter. Okay, so that's correct. Huh? That's the that's the that's the expression. Okay, so now uh, B, find the displacement of the particle from O at this time. Uh, so let us write. Uh, so this one, uh, you see, displacement, displacement x. At certain time, uh, at certain time. So now this uh, unit is very important. Uh, this unit is very important. Uh, the positive and negative sign. Uh. So uh, the positive, the direction. Uh, this one direction matters. Uh. The positive negative sign very important. Yeah, we need to consider the uh, direction already. Uh, the direction. Okay, is it at the is it at this time? At this time, it is at the object is at the right hand side of the equilibrium, or is it at the left hand side of the equilibrium? Uh, is the at time at this time? Um, and what I can say is at this time, it is is it the object over here, or is it the object at the left hand side? Uh, so which one? So which one is it? This one or this one? Okay. So we need to find out. Okay, hold on a second. Ah, so at this time, huh, if given time, you need to mention about, consider about the direction. Huh, because at, at this time, it only has uh, one side. It cannot have both sides. Understand? It must have a certain location. Uh, it must, maybe it, the object oscillate to the right hand side of equilibrium or maybe oscillate to the left hand side of equilibrium. But we don't know which one. So uh, this one need to consider the direction direction huh? not just the magnitude okay so uh, let us uh, substitute this time into this equation we have just formed and we can find the value find the answer okay so question b uh, just use back our equation x equal to 3 sine 20 pi t okay so what let's substitute the time with uh, let's substitute the time with uh, 1 over 16 second. Uh, 1 over 16 second. Remember, this one must be in radian. Uh, you must convert your, your calculator into radian. If you put degree, uh, then you will get wrong answer. Okay. So what is our displacement at this time? Okay. Let's substitute. Let's, sub let's substitute into it. Ah, okay, I got it. Yeah, so uh, I got it. Okay, the answer is um, uh, negative, uh, negative um, uh, two point one two, negative two point one two. Ah, uh, what's a unit? Uh, what's a unit? Ah. Uh, uh, our this is amplitude cm. Our displacement is centimeter. Be careful with our unit, not meter. It is centimeter. Uh, if you put meter, it's wrong. It is centimeter. Always be careful with the unit given. Okay. Uh, so that's the answer. Okay. Uh, and what does it mean by the negative value here? Uh, what does it mean by the negative value here? Ah, uh, so uh, according to this. Uh, so which position is it? Yeah. Uh, so which position is it? 
uh, is the time equal to 1, point, uh, 1 over 16? Is it the object at the right hand side of equilibrium? No, it is at the left hand side of equilibrium. So, um, uh, let me. Okay, so it is not this one. Uh, so, at, at uh, 0, at uh, 1, over, 1 over 16 seconds. The object is at the left hand side of equilibrium. Uh, write it down the write it down the uh, direction there. Uh, okay, so it is at the left side, uh, left side of O, uh, or equilibrium position. O is the equi O is the equilibrium position. Yeah, uh, O is uh, where the x equal to zero. Okay, set C M. Uh, so at the object is at the left hand side. Yeah, the negative means at the left hand side. Okay, uh, so next. Um, okay, answer is correct. Yeah, answer is correct. Give a tick there. Okay. Uh, determine the time when the particle is at positive. Oh, now if the particle is at uh, the right hand side of equilibrium, positive displacement, so what is the time there? Huh? So let, let us find out. Um, okay. So question C. Um, what is the time when x equals to positive 1.5 centimeter? Uh, so if positive displacement means at the right hand side. Uh, so what is the time that? Yeah? Uh, he asks us what is the time? What is the time? Uh, when x equal to positive 1.5. So, use also use this equation and find the time. x equal to 3 sine uh, 20 pi t. Okay, so just substitute the time there. Uh, positive, just substitute positive 1.5 centimeter. Ah, centimeter, no need to convert to meter, understand? No need to convert to meter because our amplitude this is our amplitude, yeah, x equal to a sine omega t, you understand? Uh, anyway, this one is in, cent this amplitude is in centimeter. This amplitude is in centimeter, so our x also in centimeter. So, no need to convert to meter. So, okay, 3 centimeter also, yeah, uh, sine 20 pi t. Okay, so, um, so this is a 1.5 or this one become 1 over 2 which is um yeah um yeah 1.5 divided by 3 uh sine 20 pi e so um okay now uh this one become a 1 over 2 which is 0 0.5 sine uh 20 pi t so what is the Okay, you need to anti cos, uh, no, anti sine. Uh, uh, so 20 pi t, you will get after you anti sine, uh, anti sine the 0 0.5, you will get, uh, all right. Uh, okay, uh, re remember in radian, uh, this one must be in radian, uh, not this one in radian, uh, uh, radian. Not degree, yeah? not degree. You must change to radian. So, um, uh, anti sine the 0 0.5, I will get uh, 1 over, I will get 1 over 6 pi. So, what is the time? Let us find out the time. So divide by 20 pi again. Divide by 20 pi. And ah, the answer is um, uh, 8.33 exponent negative 3 second uh, that's the time is the answer correct yes that's correct okay the answer is 8.33 exponent negative 3 second okay so the answer is correct okay ta-da